My friend Tyler was here for about four days, giving me a tattoo. We also spend a lot of time adventuring in the mountains around Albania. He makes YouTube videos himself, and we spend our time talking about the excitements and struggles of that life. He had an early morning flight, so we stayed in a hotel near the airport, and after our quick workout the next morning, I started the drive back to Pokernets. For the next couple days, the weather decided to be bipolar, dumping rain one minute, and the next clearing up for some breathtaking views of the mountains. I went to the shop to grab a few things for the house and realized that even the biggest supermarket in town isn't immune to the massive rainstorm that we've been having for the last few days. Speaking of water, the water at the house just shut off and I couldn't figure out what the problem was. I walked back and forth to the main switch out by the road to figure out if someone had just been playing a prank. But when that didn't work, I kind of gave up. So I went back to my apartment to fill some big jugs of water. At least that way I'd have something to drink for the time it was off. Turns out, most of the village had their water turned off due to construction work of some kind. Not sure how I was supposed to know that, but I guess it's just part of life here. Dishes are everywhere because this has not been working. <laughs> Finally. I'm in the last week of this house sitting. Everything has more or less gone great up to this point. But then, in the final days, all the frustrations hit at the same time. Hey, come. Come. One thing I will definitely not miss is having to chase down the dogs every time they get out. Seems like sometimes come. they just go out for a walk and then come back. But other times they go off and chase the neighbor's chickens around. It's been three weeks or so since they made the first hole in the fence and I've been trying to set up a blockade. But the structural integrity of the fence is so awful that they can squeeze through or under the wire just about anywhere along it. So it doesn't matter what kind of barricade I have put together from things that I've found lying around the property, they're going to find a way out. But I think I will miss these two dum-tums, despite all the shenanigans they get into. Ready? And in preparation for the house sitting to come to an end, I went back to my apartment and started to plan how I will rearrange the space. I wanted to measure different pieces of furniture so that I could figure out exactly how everything could fit. I have some really cool plans for this space, but I'm not sure I'll be able to pull it off. I guess we'll have to wait and see, and I can't wait to give it my best shot. I'm excited to go back to my own apartment. I've been able to really focus and get a lot done while I've been at the house in the village but it has caused constant thoughts in the back of my head, causing some levels of stress. Knowing that the dogs may be out at any moment, terrorizing some poultry, or that I can't just pack a backpack and jump in the car for a quick trip somewhere without making arrangements for the dogs to be fed. All that being said though, I've been able to focus on a lot of different things I've been working on. I was able to figure out a direction that I want to take my YouTube channel found a good rhythm for making sure the extra content I'm producing on Patreon for the supporters there gets done well and on time. I've even finally figured out what kind of online shop I want to set up. I've been getting some tips from people on how to do it well from the beginning so it can be as optimized as possible. And the designs are coming along great. I haven't gotten super far in playing the guitar, 
but I'm getting more and more comfortable with one in my hands. The transitions between chords is becoming a bit more smooth. Although it may not seem like it to most people, I can definitely feel it. But I've had almost no motivation to go to the gym. I got out of the habit when Tyler came, and I wasn't as careful with my diet, which set me back a few steps. I'm getting back into it, though. I can feel the strength coming back a bit, which is helping with the motivation level. It is my last day of walking to the gym on that house. The clouds kind of came through since this morning. And uh, yeah, motivation is slowly coming back. Once I start walking, and I know there's about 45 minutes of walking, then I start to feel a little bit more of a surge of motivation. And then I get to the gym, I'm ready to knock out my workout. But actually, walking out of the driveway and leaving the house is the toughest part. Times like this are when I'm thankful to have forced myself into going to the gym until it became a habit. It makes it much easier to get back on track. If I was relying solely on motivation, who knows how long it would have taken me to get back into it. But I'm trying to rely on discipline. And even though taking almost two weeks off straight seems like a lot, when I can pull on the discipline that I've built up over the last few years, it makes it significantly more easy to get back into it again. And it's starting to get cold in the house. Only one room has a heater currently, so the others can get a bit frigid. During the day, it's not too bad because I'll go outside and sit in the sun. But when the sun goes down, the temperature drops a good bit. Also, because of how the house was originally built, it doesn't hold heat well. It's great for the middle of summertime when it's hot outside. But when the sun is the primary heat source in an otherwise chilly environment, I wish the house would accept more of its warmth. It's not too bad. I've lived in worse, even just a year ago. But it just means that it's harder to be productive in the evenings. It's hard to be typing or editing when my fingers are getting chilled. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. At the end of most days, I sit and journal a bit about what's been going on that day. Part of it is to be able to think through and process my day but it also helps me write the voiceovers for these videos. I have a notoriously bad memory for simple day-to-day -day things, and writing things down as they happen or as the thoughts pass through my head has been helpful. Last morning here. Last morning to end on. At least it's not raining yet. I'm gonna miss the views from this place. But I'm excited for the next check. Can't wait to see what happens. But one thing that I've noticed is how often my processing is just complaining about things. I think there's a way to communicate negativity without it coming across as complaints. But more often than not, it just comes across as whining. Even when I look at what I've written each day, sometimes I just wanna slap the guy who wrote it and tell him to just get over it and move on. Sure. There's validity in acknowledging negative experiences, but you shouldn't be dwelling on them. This is so interesting to me. This is a persimmon tree. And if you can get, if I can get the light right, you see how red it is? Leaves looking really nice. Over here, we have another persimmon tree. I guess it just gets less sunlight because these leaves are all still very green. Lots of persimmons. So I found a new thing to work on, gratefulness, which is fitting as the end of the year holidays approach. I'm trying to be more mindful about what I say and how I say it. Not every negative experience needs to be given attention. Sometimes you just have to shrug your shoulders, put your head down and keep moving forward.
have mixed feelings about leaving this house. I mean, I'm sure I'll be back to visit at some point, but the weeks living here have been impactful. It kind of feels silly to say, but it's true. I will look back on these couple of months fondly. As I said before, it has helped me buckle down and focus. And now, moving forward, I'll be able to put my full time and energy into the plans I've developed while being here. Before I came here, I seemed to have a constant fog in my head, clouding up anything I was trying to think through. But during my time here, I've given my brain the time and space to figure things out. I've made plans, and now I've developed ways of acting on those plans. And I hope you all are up for the journey, because I'm just getting started, and I'm taking you along every step of the way. Thanks for sticking with me. I'll be back soon. (laughs) 